hello guys how are you okay so in this video I am going to show you how can we create a user registration form and save the data to MySQL database okay and uh, this is a part of my uh, uh, web series I will uh, create a playlist after this video so I will add this video and the previous video to that uh, playlist so you can uh, watch easily in the previous video I had created this uh, web application using a uh, flask okay this was the application that I had created and deployed on Apache okay so if you missed that video you can watch that video to uh, uh, you can understand what I did and uh, this was created in the previous video okay so now I am going to create a new page in templates folder and I am using PyCharm in this video okay so I will call this page signup.html okay and here let me create HTML text quickly user sign up body sorry body okay okay here I will create user registration form form action and uh, root will be sign up okay and method post okay here I will create uh, one two three four four fields one for uh, user uh, full name second for username and uh, third for uh, password and uh, the fourth uh, field will be password confirm okay and the last will be the uh, register button okay let's start creating it label full name okay please watch entire video very carefully each and every step will be very important to you input type text name mm, you name okay and let me copy this and here it will be username username and this will be username okay and let me copy this and this will be password in this video I will also create MySQL database MySQL user okay and grant privileges to user on that database and uh, we will work with that database in this application okay after this video I will create uh, user login uh, section as well but in this video I am going to create registration section okay so password or let it call pass and this will be password okay guys and here let me copy it and here paste it will be password confirm okay and let's call it pass2 okay here diff input type submit name mm submit value or create account okay
okay you can see i created this form okay now let's uh, call it here here i will use app dot root okay and the uh, uh, root will be sign up so we can uh, call that form on sign up root and here methods will be post <coughs> get okay here i will create a function for sign up page and here let's return render template for now sign up dot html okay let me show you how is it looking first here i will uh, restart my apache okay so changes will be take place here i will use sign up okay here is the form this is the form and uh, here we will uh, fill it and when we click this button it should uh, process uh, the form on python side so here i will import request okay and here i will check if the request method is post so if mm, request dot method post we will work with the form data okay so here uh, what was the uh, first input you name right you name username pass and pass to these are the four fields that we are going to handle here okay so you name request dot form dot get you name okay and uh, let me copy this here username and here pass password because pass is the keyword in python so i used password but here the input field name is pass okay pass2 and here password2 okay now here i will check uh, some data for validation so i will use if mm, let's suppose we can count the uh, full name it should be greater than at least four characters okay so you name if len you name less than four it may be invalid okay so error i created this variable error and here i will write message your name looks invalid okay and here i will use alif for user user name should have at least six characters so land user name less than six error Your, your username should have at least six characters okay here again i will use alif and len for password we should have at least six character for password as well error 
password should have at least six characters okay and again I will use Aleph for pa uh, both password matching okay so uh, we need to create this condition uh, so user must uh, confirm the password he used okay so password not equal to password 2 we can give error password not matched okay guys you are getting this okay so let's try it now here I will set error error okay and here we should give some error default value none okay now here in sign up here I will check if there is an error message or not so if error and if and here p error okay so if there is any error error it will show here <coughs> sorry it will show here okay so let's run it but first I need to restart my Apache okay so changes takes place here if I enter, uh, if I just click this button I should see the error okay your name looks invalid because I did not enter anything so even if I uh, enter ASD it should uh, repeat this error so you can see this okay now here I enter John Mike okay and now it should return error for username see okay so I create John Mike and oh let's uh, use my name okay Adnan Asan okay and username ABC one two three or let's Adnan Adnan one okay now for password it will return same error so uh, let me show you just a password match error okay so I enter any random characters here and any random characters here it should give us password not matching error okay you can see passwords not match so here Adnan Asan Adnan 1 and here let's uh, set test test okay test test okay guys now let's uh, click this button we won't see any error okay we did not see any error because all the data was uh, validated okay now here we need to create MySQL database now and create a user and uh, grant all privileges to that user on that database okay so now I'm going to create MySQL database please watch very carefully okay so here I I'm going to MySQL I'm in MySQL client console okay here I will create database create um, sample create database sample okay okay database is created now now we need to create an uh, user account so add sorry create user um, Adnan or code worked identified 
by elephant okay because uh, a non identified by elephant would not look good you know okay so i don't want to make fun of myself so i just uh, created user with code work username and now i press enter okay user uh, account has been created now i have to um, grant all privileges to this user on database sample because if i don't uh, give privileges our web application won't be able to communicate with mysql okay i mean uh, our web application won't be uh, able to communicate with our database because uh, we uh, didn't uh, provide uh, privileges yet so let's uh, provide privileges grant all privileges to code work on hmm, sample right sample or just like this sample okay error here i need to use on sample dot static means sample database and all its table okay to code work okay now it work now let's create table in sample database use sample now i am i am in uh, sample database here i will create table create table users okay and here i will give some columns id and primary key auto increment okay guys and uh, name it will uh, contain user full name okay varchar 30 will be good enough and username varchar 30 will be good enough and for password password varchar mm, 50 okay but i will just use a small password for testing and here our date okay so it will also have date time okay the table has been created as well okay now let's uh, get back to the application here okay here i have to import mysql.connector mysql.connector module i installed this mod uh, module using pip3 mysql. sorry dash connector okay so make sure you have this uh, module installed in your uh, server or pc okay wherever you are working now here i will initialize mysql mydb mysql.connector.connect host localhost okay user code word password elephant and database sample okay and uh, auth plugin mysql native password ok guys here i will set cursor mydb dot cursor ok now here if there is no error we can simply start saving data to mysql okay 
in else here I will set query query insert into um, users ID username um, no name username password date okay values um, for, uh, for first I will use null for second I will use uh, a string and another string again a string one two three okay three string and then for date I will use no function okay guys you are getting it what I am doing I hope you are enjoying this well learning sometime it can be a little boring but it will benefit you so much I hope okay here I will use cursor dot execute query and here I will pass tuple in tuple I will pass hmm, for uh, uname username password right so uname username and password okay guys okay and here I will commit my DB dot commit okay and here let's set message success your account has been created okay and here I will enter um, MSG for message variable I am passing this message variable with the value of success okay and here I can show this if success okay here print no I passed message variable here okay so I will use msg okay msg and double braces okay and here and if okay guys let's style it a bit so h1 okay so we are done with the form creation now let's test it if it's working exit and I have to restart my Apache so changes will take place okay now here something went wrong let's see what's wrong okay so here I will use tail function of Linux this is for Linux okay you can also check in uh, error.log Apache okay whatever uh, operating system you are using Apache keeps error log in its error log file okay right I have error here auth plugin so auth plugin is here okay I missed comma here okay and this backslash is for uh, breaking line okay so now let me restart Apache and let's check it okay something is wrong either the server is overloaded let me see Mm. Ok 
ओके 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 वेंड द टेम्पलेट ओके हियर आई नीड टू सेट दिस सॉरी या सक्सेस नॉट ओके नाउ लेट्स चेक हियर लेट मी रिस्टार्ट पाची लेट्स ट्राई ओके फाइन नाउ आर फॉर्म इज बैक लेट्स क्रिएट यूजर अकाउंट सो फुल नेम अदनान एसन एंड अदनान वन यूजर नेम एंड पासवर्ड टेस्ट टेस्ट एंड पासवर्ड टेस्ट टेस्ट ओके लेट्स सी ओके योर अकाउंट हैज बीन क्रिएटेड नाउ लेट्स चेक इन माय स्केल माय स्केल यूज सैंपल सेलेक्ट स्टेरिक फ्रॉम यूजर्स ओके यू कैन सी द अकाउंट हैज बीन क्रिएटेड परफेक्टली ओके and data has been saved to mysql database so i think this is a very very enough for this video okay you might have been tired now so in next video i will create a user login page okay after that i will also move further and i hope my this series will be very beneficial to you okay so uh, please don't forget to subscribe my channel and press bell icon so you will not miss my upcoming videos and please like and share my video thank you so much for watching my video take care goodbye